Vying for the affections of a special someone? There are plenty of ways to woo, but what if you need some extra help? Are aphrodisiacs real? Depends on how you define real. If you're in the market for love potions, you certainly have options. But before you run out to buy something advertised to increase desire, you might want to know whether it actually does anything to up your game. Let's look at what we do know. In animal studies, as many as 34 different plant species have been found to produce amorous effects. But most of the research has not been done to Western standards, and notably has not been done on humans. Animals also lend their substances to aphrodisiacs. Here's an abridged list of some that have been studied, also not on humans. The Malaysian sea slug known as Dugu Dugu, a chemical from the skin of the bufo toad, priapic venom drawn from yellow scorpions and Brazilian armed spiders, oysters, a protein found in the vaginal secretions of hamsters, and the ambergris in sperm whales. If this is all quackery though, why do people believe in it enough to build an industry around it? Well, it turns out there can be some semblance of truth. Take the Spanish fly, for example. It's one of the oldest and best-known aphrodisiacs first purified in 1810. It actually isn't a fly at all, but rather a type of blister beetle. Gross name, and even grosser is the reaction it causes. When angry, the beetle emits a chemical called cantharidin, which causes blisters. Similarly, when you eat the blister beetle, the cantharidin inflames the gastrointestinal tract and causes swelling in the urinary tract. So perhaps that irritation will make you want to scratch that itch. Though, if you happen to be a blister beetle, you are actually in luck. The scent of cantharidin does entice the females of the species. On the medical side of things, to increase sex drive in human folks, sometimes doctors prescribe hormones such as testosterone. Another option would be drugs that affect the release of dopamine in the brain, which can cause hypersexual behavior, though that's a rare side effect. When it comes down to aphrodisiac efficacy, it's really a crapshoot. Maybe eating tiger penis soup will make you virile and vibrant, or just leave you and the tiger population out of luck. <laughs>